Okay, in this video, we're gonna cover the lone wolf rescue. Again, one person rescuing one person. But in this one, we're gonna not be able to reach the uh, ground with three strands, but only two. So just the double rope or the drop loop will be able to get down to them. So uh, I'm not gonna go over the gear. It's the same amount of minimalist equipment as, as before. We'll, uh, we'll jump right into it. So same focal point on the, the anchor. We're gonna grab our anchor carabiner. And that's, you're gonna see a lot of similarities. They're gonna get hooked up uh, much the same. The only difference here is that when we um, lower that rope to our casualty, it's not gonna reach with three strands. So again, same thing as we'll just rat's nest the whole thing. Great. <clears throat> now we're going to tie our, we'll come down here, we'll tie our same figure of nine. Put that on there. Again. QA. And then all I'm going to do is just kind of flake this out or butterfly coil it, lap coil it. Great. Okay, and then we're going to move out to the edge. Try that again. Good. Okay, again, talk to your casualty. And now what we'll do is we can lower this out you know, you don't want to drop a coil of rope on your casualty's head, so it's best to kind of uh, just feed it out to them. And then that way you can actually get a better idea of how much rope you're, you're dealing with. And so I'm going to throw a little bit extra down there because we want to simulate that we don't have enough. And then once I get to that point, I'm going to move back. Okay, so the drop loop has, has simulated to reach him. I put a lot extra on there but we're just gonna simulate that it reached them. Now, obviously I can't get um, to the bottom again with a third strand, cause that's not enough, but we're gonna do it very, very similar. We're gonna tie that clove hitch. Put that on there, tighten that up. And then we're gonna do everything off that strand. Everything else is going to look very, very similar, but we'll just go through it so that it's absolutely clear. The remainder of rope can just be stacked, rats nested there. We don't need to um, clip the strand off to your harness because you're going to be descending on, oops, that's the wrong one. We're going to be descending on, um, the clove hitched one, so we know the standing end is the other one. So this is gonna, gonna take a bit of slack so I don't have to work it through the device to get to the edge. And you also don't have to worry about a stopper knot in the end in this circumstance because it's a loop you're repelling down onto, so you can't repel off the end of it. Okay, just a quick function check. That locks, that slides. Good, we're good there. I'm gonna put my gloves on. We'll do a quick safety system check. <clears throat> All right, so our anchor is bomb proof. We've got carabiner is locked, 
figure of nine down to the drop loop that I know has reached the casualty, back up through my device, and then is anchored to a clove hitch that clove hitch is not sliding. We're good there. Device function test again, locks, travels, that's good to go. And harness, good, got my gloves, my helmet, I'm good to go. Okay, and I'll make sure before I go down that I've got my ascent kit, my harness for the casualty, everything else that I need. So here we go. Again, I don't need that rope necessarily over the edge, but the rope that I'm going down on. Brake hand on. Do our edge transition here. A little bit extra slack there. Great. Okay. And I'll see you guys at the bottom. Okay, so at the bottom, same deal as last time. We'll keep that relatively snug. We don't know what kind of precarious situation we're here on the on a ledge or whatever have you. We're gonna wanna get our harness on Rob to, to secure them. So we're gonna go. We've got three strands there. Everything here is the same as before. It's gonna secure there. We know I'm down on the clove hitched rope. This is the standing rope on the figure nine. Again, take the slack out. This is gonna come around. So a bite around the standing rope, a loop, pardon me, a loop, then a bite. If we're gonna be accurate, let's snug that up. There we go, everything's good there. Just show that again, try and keep my hands out of it. I think it's called an overhand slip. Overhand slip, mm -hmm. okay. So we'll just do the overhand slip. So we're gonna make a loop that's gonna go around. No, nope, extra twist in there we don't need. So just a loop and then a bite that goes through the loop. And that snugs down on it. And then this shouldn't go anywhere if that becomes loaded. Okay, that's good there. I'm gonna set up for an ascent. Same deal, if you want details on the ascent, then you can reference the Trace Systems Ascending a Rope video for all the specifics on that. We're just gonna keep going on this. If you want to pre-rig this, this foot loop so that it fits your, your foot perfectly so you don't have to necessarily do the sizing down here, by all means, you don't even have to use this sling. You can use a uh, prusik cord, an adjustable prusik cord. Some would call it a Purcell prusik cord. I like the slip knot here because it just makes it so much easier to undo. Great. Okay, instructions to your casually. I'll be right back and up we go. Okay, 
Okay, taking that slack so you're secured. Remove the foot loop. Stow it. And as I'm moving towards the anchor, it doesn't really matter, you can take up that slack as long as you take up enough slack so that we, you don't fall over the edge. But this has to be completely re-rigged now because your QD, unlike in the, if you have three strands, if you only have two and you've gone on this strand, your QD is gonna be upside down. So we're gonna take the QA and the QD completely off the, the rope. And we're gonna re-rig it. And so we're gonna re-rig it the other way. So we descended on it going down the rope this way. Now, because we're gonna do a raise on it, we have to rig it the other way on the rope. So like this, like this. Okay, get that there, closed. Great, now we can open that up, take this off, put that on, close that up. Good, and do a check, locks, adjust great now take the QA put the QA on okay and there we've got our three to one it's on a drop loop so it's a six to one the carabiner is locked I'm gonna get the rope onto the edge protection We're gonna reset our hauling system for maximum throw. And just like before, uh, oh, you know what? Before I do that, I gotta make sure I get all the slack out because, so here, we're just gonna pull, pull the slack through the QD. Okay, we're there, we're good. Pull it through the QA. Maximum throw, and we can start our haul. Oh, oh, I still got more slack. Shit. Sorry. I thought I was done, but I'm not. Two meters of slack. Roger that. One meter. And that's there we go. That's him. Okay. Perfect. Get the rest out of the Q8. Let's see what I'm doing, just pulling that through the shiv. Maximum throw. And now, same deal as before. When I start hauling on this, it's gonna pull the slip knot and I can just haul them all the way to the top. Okay, so full throw on the reset. Now, the initial haul is to uh, pop that slip knot. And so that slip knot. Uh, you want to make sure that you're, you're telling the casualty, make sure you don't put your fingers in that loop or it's not fouled by gear and let them know that as I haul initially, that slip knot's going to pop and you may feel a little bit of jerk, but not to worry about it. It's, it's supposed to happen. And so the initial one, gonna pull it and there's that pop. And that's just the slip knot popping and now we're fully loaded onto the system and we can start our our haul up chock a block reset Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a good thing to note too, is that what was happening was, you can come up right over top. This rope was kind of getting underneath and it was locking it down and it was kind of not progress capturing, so no problem. It's just getting a clean kind of flow on the ropes there. And then, see it runs a lot smoother now. Just a little nuance, just the alignment problem but 
It's good. He's coming up to the edge. Yeah, see, this is great. Get a good look at this. See how this is dead lagging and it's dead lagging just because of friction. And so, can you see this part here, Matt? So look, I'm just gonna pull that up and then it solves it. It gets rid of that, that added friction. Very simple solution to it. Okay, so my guy's coming up to the edge here. Getting close to it. a reset. See this? This is the same thing. Get a real good shot of this. All you need to do is just grab this line and you pull it up and then it clears it. It's just that at, it's pinching between this rope and the side plate. But once it clears, it clears that friction. And off we go. And then it transitions up. Great. Come on up. Great, and that is Lone Wolf Rescue of uh, where only two strands will reach the casualty.